Hello everyone, Johnny Hurricane here from GamersHeroes.com and today we will be going over how to complete the time and the wind side quest and get how to get to the Nameless Island in Genshin Impact. Let's get started. To get there you basically have two choices. First off, go up to the Star Snatch Cliff here and if you have Venti and 208 stamina, I, that's how much I had, unless you have stamina food, you can float there, you can glide there. Um, Venti lets you glide longer as one of his passives. There might be someone else that does it as well, but you need a lot of stamina. It is the quicker way, though. There is a second method. It is uh, not nearly as quick, but it is effective. Um, ice, freeze the water, and walk over it very, very, very slowly. It takes about 10 minutes. Bring two if you can, two cryo users. Also use wind to help push the ice, so it'll speed things up a little bit. Okay, now once we're there, head down to the south beach, and there's a little camp here. Um, you can loot all the stuff, doesn't matter a ton. But the, uh, important part is there is a rock nearby, that rock over there with a shovel near it. Switch to your, you know, user, your rock breaker user and smash it. There will be a quest item in there and it'll basically give the information on how to trigger the sundial. Um, this is the first part, super important. Now head back up to the sundial. Once you're up at the sundial, set your time to 2 a.m. or as close to 2 a.m. as you can get because the thing is so touchy. And this is going to be what we need to do. There are basically three or four wind orbs that we have to get. First one is right behind the sundial, and That's you're going to use your elemental vision to see them. Remember your elemental vision? Yeah, I haven't had to use it in a while. Um, jump behind the sundial onto that, that platform over there. I don't even know what you would call this. These sunken ruins, I guess, minus this part. Climb up to the top, and the first orb is going to be right where this little wind spirit is. Uh, use a wind attack, uh, either magic or an R2 or whatever, and that will trigger three more. Now, these aren't too terribly hard to find. Oh, there's a chest down there, by the way. It's a really good one, too, so make sure you grab that before you get out. Right down here. Well, the good one. It's luxurious or whatever, one of the top-tier ones. Head up to the sundial, and then using your vision, you can see there's a line that goes up this pillar. Basically, that's what we're looking for is these lines. They lead up to the uh, next three orbs that we have to break, basically. If you're at the top, again, break it with wind magic or wind arrows or whatever you need. And then you can see one way down there, sort of on the north. I guess it would be northwest beach. Head down over there. And again, same thing. Use your wind magic, take the shot, whatever it is. Break the wind orb however you can. Once that's broke, we got one more, and this time we're heading back to the south beach. Once you get to the south beach, kind of near where these uh, the dead rune guard there is in the water, um, and this one that's against the rock, you can see the little glowy thing in the distance, and just, you know, break it, take a shot. If you're venti, you don't even really even got to get into the water, you can just do it at range. Once that's broke, a little windstorm will appear near the sundial, and that is where we are heading. Just to let you know, the boss that spawns is level 40, so if you're not ready for that, just just back out. You can come back later, it's no big deal. Get in the center and you'll see the big shiny orb there. Don't touch it, it'll hurt you. Just break it, and boom, boss will spawn. Uh, obviously having a wind character in this instance, not a good idea. Lightning on the other hand, fish is very, very effective against this because you can use the lightning and then combo that off of your fire, your water, your ice, whatever else. Um, an archer in general is just a good choice for here, and a healer, because this, this guy kind of hurts. Um, to let you know, this is actually the easy part of the fight. After you get him down to about 25%, he will retreat, and there'll be a bunch of wind jets that you can follow. So if you can't beat him here, you're definitely not beating him in the next phase. Once you get him down low enough, as I said, he will retreat. This will spawn some wind jets, and we're going to take those. They're going to take us all the way back to the mainland, so... If there's anything else you need to get here, get it now because there is no war point. You'll have to swim or walk or glide your happy ass all the way back here. So, um, heal up, take the wind jets, follow those all the way back, and you'll end up near Thousand Wind Temple or whatever it's called. Once you're down there, you'll see another sundial. And again, we're setting the time to 2 a.m. because why not? We need to do it here. And I can magically get it right on the nose this time. So, we'll be at 2 a.m. perfectly. Uh, again, we're going to have three wind orbs here. This time, each time you break a wind orb, they will spawn uh, wind jellies, wind slimes, whatever you want to call them. Not, They're not too strong. Just kill them before you trigger the boss fight because you really don't want to have those in the middle of the fight with you. See, they're all right around here anyway, so just break them. Use your elemental vision if you're having trouble seeing them. 
Okay, once that is done, again, there will be a big wind orb. This fight, I'm going to recommend eating some food, more defense, more attack. If you have a wind resistant potion, get that because this guy is a little bit stronger. As you can see, he's level 43, but the big annoyance is that he spawns adds now. So he's going to have extra enemies, which means you can't just focus on him the whole time. I, I do because I have Deluc and Deluc is broken, but you're going to have to try and focus. Like the, the, the wind slimes, not a big deal. Those don't got to worry about too much. Just stay out of the way. They're, they're going to get in your way by jumping at you. That's it. You don't got to worry about those. Sometimes he will spawn a wind wizard, though, that shoots like tornadoes at you. That needs to be dealt with ASAP. Killed fish in like a shot for me. It was ridiculous. This is basically what happens. You see all these tornadoes and these... At this is what happens if you don't deal with the wind wizard, basically. Um, at this point, I was already committed, though, and as I said, I have Dewey, so... I don't have to worry a ton about it, but yeah. If you can just finish the boss, finish the boss. If not, destroy the ads first. Alright, and after that, speak with Henry. You let him know what happened. He will reward you. You'll get your uh, extra experience, your primo gems, your adventure experience, all that business. And the riddle of the Nameless Island will be completed. You'll also get an achievement for it, so yay. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. If you liked what you saw and got what you needed, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later, Gators.